Namaskar, Vanakam, Sastriya Kal, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Today we're talking about China's racism problem and how it runs deep from COVID to blackface on TV. Um, this comes from MSN NBC, and um, we're going to watch this video that talks about China's anti black racism show on its media and its treatments of Africans during the pandemic time. Are you ready? I mean, this is yeah. just, this is like one more slap in the face. And there's a quote, there's a, there's a notice here that was put on Twitter that's saying, we've been informed that from now on, black people are not allowed to enter the restaurant for the sake of your health, to isolate yourself. Please understand the, this inconvenience that's being caused. What they're inconveniencing you because they're treating you like crap. Yeah, this is from that's... McDonald's, though I did see later that they, they had that place either shut down or the signs taken off. But, like, this is just, we've seen the treatment that they do on the Uyghur Muslims in China. It's yeah. basically genocide is what finally the United States is calling it. Um, but this is like, this is like going back to the 50s, even before. This is like, yeah, they horrible. Yeah, it's terrible. Now, if you come from Africa country, you can go in our building. Uh, China's African community yeah. has been the subject of conspiracy theories and misinformation that they are responsible for carrying COVID-19. Now, God. they're facing a wave of discrimination. Widely shared videos on social media and on WhatsApp appear to show discrimination towards China's African community arrests on the streets a man claiming he was reported to the police for taking a bus and the mcdonald's in guangzhou displaying a sign saying black people are not allowed to enter mcdonald's then temporarily shut down that branch after learning about the unauthorized yeah, sign npc news wasn't able to verify the circumstances surrounding these videos and it is unclear what happened beforehand but these incidents have gained widespread attention all over social media the hashtags Africans in China and China Must Explain had nearly 90,000 interactions on Facebook and Instagram since April 2020. Mm -hmm. Racial tensions between Africans and locals in China began to emerge in April when Chinese officials blamed foreigners for the rise in imported cases. The yeah, US Embassy then issued an alert China. saying yeah, that police in Guangzhou ordered bars and restaurants not to serve clients who appear to be of African origin. The embassy then advised African Americans to avoid the Guangzhou area. We spoke to a Nigerian student who said that she and her Cameroonian fiance were evicted from their home after police allegedly threatened their new landlady to not rent out her home to them. Oh my god. She wished to stay anonymous for fears of being expelled from her university, so her words are being voiced by an actor. We have provided proof that we this are healthy, but it doesn't matter. It's just scary because people. we are Africans, they yeah. clearly stated they do not want us. I just think it's not okay. We can't live anywhere we want just because we're black. It's not done. It's not okay. Discrimination has also been reported in accessing healthcare. We spoke to a Ugandan couple who posted this video back in April. They believe they were denied access to a hospital just because they're African. They asked to remain anonymous for their own safety. You don't do that at the hospital. You don't tell them to wait at the end. No, no one does that. It's a hospital. There is no other way you can yeah. understand yeah. that apart from saying they're being denied access to the hospital because of your, uh, your, your color, your skin color. After the video went viral, a member from the local Chinese government asked them to delete it. They of said course this they did. Yeah. Then helped them gain access to a different oh hospital, God. promised them free shopping, and recorded them thanking the Chinese government for their help. Uh. In an audio recording sent to us, you can hear this government member asking them to say something positive about the government services. By the way, would you mind just uh, uh, send a message or kind of additions for some pictures concerning concerning your actually the services we have provided including the medical and the government service which make you happy or satisfied or would you just uh, say that hospital uh, incident maybe is a misunderstanding just because the language barrier or misunderstanding no the chinese embassy in barrier. kenya maybe they released a video on twitter saying that the man and the nurse couldn't understand each other and that the couple left before the nurse could come back with a translator but as our investigation carried yeah, on we noticed a that. new trend 
an increase in Chinese propaganda videos like this one trying to counter that narrative of racial discrimination. We've seen many examples of this on Twitter. Videos that were posted by Chinese local media or Chinese embassies in Africa. Upon further investigation, four Africans we interviewed told us that either them or other Africans they knew were now being asked to remove the interview. Told us that either them or other Africans they knew were now being asked to remove videos they posted alleging discrimination. Another man who uses the online migration officers and told not to post anything negative about the country. Otherwise, he would get in trouble. I asked him well, if he, he might noticed the trend of African okay. posting videos which praise their Chinese hosts. They are told to make other videos saying China is good, China is taking care of us, we're not suffering. But I'll tell you, people are being asked to leave their homes. Even as we speak, people are sleeping on the streets. It's true. People don't have food. I think it is better they take positive, systematic, engaging steps to better our relations between black people who are living in China and the Chinese government and the Chinese community. We contacted six other Africans in China who had shared their experiences online, but they didn't want to speak to us for fear of reprisal. In April, the oh, Chinese disappear. Foreign Ministry responded to the initial allegations at a press conference. I don't know. <laughs> 对外友好的对华友好的感情也不会有任何动摇。我们不会对非洲兄弟搞歧视。and in light of more recent allegations we've highlighted, we received this response from the Foreign Affairs Office in Guangdong province. We are not aware of the relevant situation, but have actively no, no, handled some incidents and clarified misunderstandings in a timely manner. But despite these assurances, certain members of the African Chinese population feel silenced and afraid. Some of our interviewees are now reconsidering their life in China, China and pleading yeah. for the government to repatriate them home. I mean, this is just disgusting and unbelievable. It's not 1950s. I know we have a lot of issues going on here in the U.S. You know, color is such a big thing. I wish people could see past it and see the people right. as opposed to the color of your skin. Um, I. Even here we fight to this day, but it's it's not like, this is like going backwards between the genocide with the Uyghur Muslims that is like World War II, the whole right. reason we went into World War II with Germany. And now this is like, you know, back in the day when, when we used to post signs, like this is not okay in 2021. No. Stuff like this should not be happening anywhere. Yeah, I can't even imagine someone here saying that you can't go in because you're African. That's yeah. terrible to even say in China. Like, you do, you are a dictatorship. You do a lot of bad things, and the government's done a lot of bad things. But to go so far as to tell someone they can't go in a place because of their skin color is way past what yeah. they've done. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I just, it's sickening, some of the stories that have been coming out of the way they treat people, and yet they're one of the top five countries in the world, they, they hold the UN a seat. permanent UN seat, yeah. They, they are trying to take over the world, inching over borders, you know, they're doing all these things, and this, this is like, we know here, you know, the, the media has said, like, people of African descent have or african origin tend to have covid a little bit more based on you know body types based on maybe their circumstances um uh hispanics and is the second one and then it goes from there you know we're hoping this vaccine gets to everybody we're hoping everybody gets a chance to get through this but to to say to somebody like oh you might have the virus you have to get out Everybody might have the virus. There's a chance yeah. everybody might have the virus. If you're going to kick out blacks, you should kick out everybody else, too. And like, it started in China. It started in China. It came from Wuhan. So, like, I don't understand how you can discriminate against other people when your country is the one that started it. Right. You can't say Africans started it because it started right there in that country, China. Yeah, this is just, is just crazy. I mean... Here, things have, I feel like, 
come so far, you know, since Martin Luther King and, and a lot of the struggles we've seen, you know, it's, it shouldn't be like this in 2021 anywhere in the world. And, you know, I would love to see, you know, one of his quotes that I like is I want to look on the day when people will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Yeah. Right now, looking at that quote, where would you put China? What is their character? Right. That. Yeah. This is just, it's like one more slap in the face. And I just wonder when is the world going to wake up and see what they're doing to right. their own people. And the article specifically indicates in the video that we watched says that China told these people afterwards to take down their video and say something nice about them or something bad would happen to them and they're getting kicked out of their homes and it's yeah. terrible yeah yeah the gov the ccp has such control over the media and apparently scares the crap out of people because half of the people that were interviewed didn't want their faces seen their voices heard or they didn't even want to be on the video right because they're so scared of china that is not the type of country you want leading the world. No. And that's what they're trying to do. I, I just don't understand how they're not getting slapped left and right. I don't know how they still have a UN seat. I don't know how we're still spending $500 billion in trade deficit with them every single day. Like, when are we going to wake up and yeah. see this is the type of people... This is how the CCP runs their country. Do you want them to run the world this way? Yeah, this is just... I can't just... think to that day like that. Yeah, I hope you don't ever see me. that day. Yeah. You'll live longer than me, so that would be a sad day. Unless they, they come around, let people investigate, have more of a democracy instead of a dictatorship, I, I don't know why we would let them rule the world. Yeah. Anyways, um, I hope this was an enlightening video because this was really an uh, eye-opener. Yeah. And, um, and hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.